Good Sunday from Storm Team 10. I'm Joseph Dames. You could definitely feel that cold air for our Sunday afternoon. It was just a cool afternoon with that breeze really moving in. But what we didn't lack in was a good amount of sunshine for our Sunday afternoon, and we're still seeing that for our late afternoon and into our early evening now. Temperatures into the upper 30s. Look at that wind, a northwest wind right around 10 miles per hour. So it's just aiding to that cold feel for our afternoon. We do have this high pressure just off to the west, and that's helped show us that sunshine for our Sunday to really wrap up our weekend. But it's just moving that cold in. It's just fueling in that cold air. And it's just going to lead to a cold night tonight and into tomorrow morning. In fact, we're going to be pretty close to a record low as we head into tomorrow morning into the upper teens, right around 19 degrees for us as you're heading out the door tomorrow morning. So make sure you do have that winter coat still handy. It's going to be a cold start to our new work week. So here's the weather headlines and yeah, it's just going to remain cold for the next few days. And yeah, unfortunately, we still have a chance for some snow and it's going to be a pretty active week in terms of some precipitation at the end of the work week too. Let's well, jump right into the future cast. This is at 7 p.m. this evening, mostly dry moisture off to the north. Just a few clouds really passing through. Now as we tick into the overnight hours, it's going to remain mostly clear and our temperatures are just not going to warm up all that much. But by tomorrow afternoon, we're only going to reach the upper 30s, very similar to what we saw today, but we'll have more cloud coverage as we head through the afternoon. So topping off right around 37 degrees in Terre Haute, Casey at 37, Mattoon in the mid to upper 30s off to the south, upper 30s for Vincennes, Flora though, possibly into the lower 40s before we see that chance for snow really moving in. So it's picked back up on Monday morning. Once again, this is tomorrow morning. We'll see those clouds start to roll in by our afternoon and with those clouds, our next system starts to slide into and it looks like it's showing a good amount of moisture through central Illinois by 7 p.m. Already starting to move into the Wabash Valley right around that time. So heading home from work tomorrow, those clouds are going to be there and possibly some snowfall. Now I do believe if there is a silver lining that's overplaying that amount of moisture, I don't think we're going to have that amount present at this time. So when we do get a chance for that snowfall, I don't think it's going to be as played out as the system is showing right now. I think if it's possible, we could see up to an inch, more likely half an inch. And I wouldn't even be surprised if we get less than that by the time it's all said and done. By Tuesday morning, though, it already moves out. And by Tuesday afternoon, we should see the sun sunshine return. And I don't think that snowfall is really going to last very long as those temperatures warm up too. We should see that snow really melting pretty quick. 19 degrees tonight. Like I said, it's going to be a cold night. Clouds move in by tomorrow morning. 37 degrees for a high tomorrow and then 23 degrees by Monday night and into Tuesday. And uh, that snow is definitely going to be possible. Like I said, and we saw the models by Tuesday morning too. Temperatures only warming up into the lower Thursday, 30s by Tuesday. Wednesday in the lower 40s. A chance for rain come Thursday right around 52 degrees. I think we'll see a good break come Friday. That'll be one of our nicer days over the next seven days. And then it stays pretty warm come Saturday morning. But our next chance for rain comes in Saturday and possibly even a thunder shower.